Okay, people, we got Metsu, the Kazuya versus Olive. The, I gotta change the names real quick. I'm sorry, give me one second. But we got Olive, the uh, the Lucina. Okay. I was playing him earlier. And, oh, that got Oh my goodness. One hit, zero to eighty percent. You love to see it. Olive has to has to try and play a little bit safe, and that's gonna do it. Just an electric gonna take the stop. Balanced. It's beautiful. Olive, what Olive needs to do, in my opinion, I suggest that they they just space themselves, but just play very disciplined. No when to rush in with first stop to one, just like that dash attack. Get it down to that. I understand that. I mean, down to really is viable. But the thing about Kazi is that his his advantage is actually very. It's not good. So once once Olive actually finds that advantage state opportunity, then it's gonna be really rough for him. And he's trying to bait up the rage trap. You can see whenever he goes 100 percent and he's you know flashing with that red aura, then it's time to actually put it out. He's gonna take it right here. And that's man, I'm telling you, man. Kazuya, damn, I don't know what happened. What did he do? I didn't notice what happened there. It might have been an SP. Electric would have connected if he's close enough. That might do it. Nope. Yep. Okay. This is really rough. This is really this is really rough for uh for Ali. The thing about this, I think Kazia does win the matchup by default just because he outranges her in every possible way with that electric move. Taunting on him. I know it was an accident, but we take those. What's an accident? I don't know. I saw him smirk a little bit. I did see the smirk. You guys can't see it, but I can. I don't know if he was trying to flex on him, but I'm with it. A little disrespect here and there isn't gonna help me. No, they, 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 they definitely takes things up. But, um, uh, hit that. Oh, he teched it. That was a really good tech. That was a really good tech. And Olive really just kind of like, just, yeah, look at this, like, right? Playing just very spaced and discipline neutral. This is what Olive needs to find. He can't really just get necessarily close enough. He's got to play very safe. Okay? So you saw how he was trying to do the downs right there? It was fine until he kind of like abandoned him and like kind of went back to center stage. And that's when Metsu found the opportunity to kind of just run in and just, you know, go for the electric. Perfectly balanced though. Kazu Mishima, everybody. This is what the people like to see. See, I know what, I know what the community feels about the character. They hate fighting the character. They want him banned, but they love watching him. That goes out to shout outs to Ferps, Riddles, Terry, T, who else am I talking? Axiom, Burr. There's a lot of causes out there, man. It's a lot. Dark Blue, you know, Wilds. Oh, it. Oh, he's putting off the cannon door. The cannon? The cannon? Let's see it. Let's see it, man. I know he's comfortable with Ganon a little bit. That's not going to take it. Ganon's too heavy for that. You better knock it off, really. And let's see. I mean, he's alive. I mean, it's, I mean, Kaz is favorite easily. But the thing about it is, I, I've talked to Olive, and he feels comfortable with, like, Ganon with, like, close quarter kind of, like, matchups, right? Oh, my God! That's gonna take it. Catch me get up with him, you know, the neutral get up. You cannot go wrong with that. You can't. It's already even. Uh, uh, uh. He tried to go for you. Listen to the back here. This is what I'm talking about. Just it, the, the game just it just changed so much. It changed so fast, people. And this is from Ganon. The, the worst, arguably, not even arguably, the worst character in the game. Going from Lucina to the worst character in the game, and he's making moves, people. He's making moves. Forward throw, not gonna quite do it. What is he doing? What's he on? Woo! The back are gonna take it. All right. He's really giving the Kazi a run for his money, man. Look at the Ganon go. This is the action that people want to see on the stream. Forget about tears, forget about matchups, play who you're comfortable with, and everything might come to fruition, man. Everything might be here. Oh, dash attack, oh. Ooh, hold on, that up air, frame four up air, by the way, and it's invincible. That's nothing to laugh at. Woo! Oh, here we go. Oh, here we go. Yes, sir. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Woo! Back air. Oh my goodness, who's gonna take it? Oh, it's Kazi, it's just one hit needed, but Ganon can just do something. Hold on! Misses it with the kicks. He's gonna do the up B, gonna take him off stage. He's got him at advance right here. I don't know if the force match is really the right thing to do. He's almost, he's very close to range drive percentage. What's he gonna do next? Is he gonna die right here? No, he's gonna make it! Range drive on deck, what's happening? Oh, that's gonna do it! 
one Metsu over Olive. The Ganondorf was not the bad pick at all. Definitely not a bad pick at all. But at the end of the day, Kazi just making moves, man. Kazi just making moves. My nigga just got fucking Kazuya. Shit. Olive, we love you.